So what do we have here? We have a 1905 freak show magician poster from the Great Parmai Troupe. OK. Look, Rick, it's you. I didn't know you were in the freak show. Chum, you idiot. That looks nothing like me. Mm -hmm. Decided to come down to the pawn shop today to sell my early 1900 sideshow poster. I'm trying to sell this poster today because I'm trying to clear up some space from my house. I'm looking to get about $1,000, and the least I will ever take from it would be $600 max. So where did you get it? I got it in an estate auction, actually. All right, um, let me tell you a few things about it. OK. OK, it wasn't a sideshow. This was a vaudevillian act. A what? A vaudeville act is basically this group of people that would go from theater to theater around the country, sword swallowing, magic tricks, balancing acts, all these different things they would do on stage. That's the way theaters used to be. Vaudeville was the ultimate variety show. Just imagine a show with a comedian, followed by a juggler, followed by a sword swallower, and then maybe a contortionist. This is all stone lithography, right? Right. So when you look at it closely, you can tell it's printed completely different than modern printing. Modern computers are pixelated. When it's done with stone lithography, it's a lot different. It's a more random pattern. It's not round dots. It's a million different little shapes and figures down there. Now, this is cool. It'd be worth money. One thing that concerns me about it. This is one of the most copied posters there is out there. The ones that I saw that were considered to be reproductions didn't have the Donaldson Litho Company, Newport, Kentucky. I think it's real, but it's also got some problems. A lot of water damage right towards the top. Uh, most of the ones that I actually looked up that were the real ones, they had actual pieces missing, and they were expensive. By looking at the printer's marks and the age of the paper, I feel pretty confident this poster's legit. But let's face it, the seller isn't even 100% sure it's real. And if I'm going to gamble, the price has to be low. All right, so what do you want to do with this? I'd like to sell it if I could. OK. Um, I'll give you 500 bucks. I was looking more along the lines of $1,000 because I looked online, and it ranged from $500 all the way up to $1,500 sold. And it was worse condition than this. And you do a reframe of this, and most of this can be actually covered uh, with a nice I, frame. I know, but it's going to cost me 400 bucks to have a nice frame and everything else. I'll tell you this. I'll do, like, $600. I mean, that's, that's the lowest I'll go. I mean, it's a really nice piece. Yeah, I'll go 600 bucks. Run them up, Jim. All right. We settled on $600. Now I could use that money to go and do some renovation of my house and maybe buy another vintage poster to go up there. Good to see you again. How you been? Doing good, man. Good. Uh, I bought a really cool poster I want you to take a look at. I'm dying to see it. Chum, grab me that poster I bought the other day. <laughs> I'm done. We happen to have the largest theatrical collection in the entire world going back to the 1800s. I love show business. It's almost like a sickness, but it's fun. It really is great. Wow, oh my god, look at that. Look at the artwork on this, gosh. You see his name up there? See Carmen? Uh-huh. That sign is covering the great Victorina troupe. And this is Victorina down here, and it's her show. She's evidently the star of the show, put it together, and he did better than her on the show, then he felt it. And he kicked her backside to make him a star. So he said, besides money, I want my name up there. Yeah, so they didn't bother to spend the money to make new posters. No. They just no. put a little paste over it. No, no, yeah. <laughs> Carmine, the magician in the show, would shoot a cracker off a child's head, and he would <laughs> hold the gun in his mouth, and he became a major star. What's got me worried is that there's a ton of reproductions of this poster out there. So what do you think? Is this a copy or one of the original stone lithographs? First of all, it's not a stone lithograph. Stone lithographs was a big sheet of stone. They had to etch it in. This is not etched in. But it's still a lithograph poster. I mean, you can't find those things anymore. So it's metal lithography? Yeah, but I know the company made posters like this from 1899 to about 1905. It's a bigger poster than most of the posters. So is it the real deal? Yeah, it is legitimate. One of the best posters I have ever seen. Oh, cool, because you really had me worried there for a minute. This, in my opinion, would retail for a minimum of $1,000, 
but it's up to 2,000 to 2,500. That much? All right, this really worked out for me. Let me ask you a question. What'd you pay for this? 600 bucks. I'd give you 601 right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet you would. Thanks for coming in, man. Oh, You're the best. You. Great to see you again. Great. I should have said, it's a piece of garbage. It's terrible. I'll take it off your hands for half of what you paid. I'll make you feel good. He wouldn't go for it. <laughs> <laughs>